There are some serious moves going on at Mohawk Mountain. That's where a new program has skiers going in all sorts of directions. Is it skiing? Is it yoga? It's actually a bit of both. Fox Connecticut's Jim Altman is back from Cornwall. You have more on what's now being called Snoga. Snoga, not Brent, not Toga. Don't get too right. excited, okay? Right. right, well, some combinations work and some don't. Chocolate and peanut butter created the Reese's Cup. That worked well, but the pickup truck and the car combined to produce the El Camino. And that didn't work. Now at Mohawk Mountain, they are on to something, and they call it Snoga. Good morning. How are you? It's bonding. So how you doing? It's binding. And it's all mind, body, and soul. Just by observing the breath and movement, you can feel the healing sensation. At Mohawk Mountain, keeping skiers grounded is a bit <sighs> of a stretch and a triangle pose and a warrior one move. Remember to breathe, inhale, exhale. When skiing meets yoga. It's called snoga. Wearing one helmet, but two hats, instructor Ann Anderson has brought Matt to mountain. It was just a natural blend for me of uh, two things that I love, uh, yoga and skiing. What we do is we take a lot of the principles of the ancient teachings of yoga and implement them into a ski lesson. Snoga is only in its first year, but as they're carving their turns, they're carving a niche for themselves. So far, about two dozen skiers have signed up for the program. <laughs> we have editing for that. I think there's a definite connection between yoga and skiing because yoga is something that really can get us centered and it can make us feel centered over our skis. It's tough to miss this group striking a pose on skis. They say this new sport makes perfect sense. I find that it, it totally relaxes you and in doing that when you're relaxed, you're, you become more flowing on the snow. You can take yoga anywhere. Yoga enhances life. It uh, helps you to think better and clearer, and it helps you to ski better. We have editing for that, but we just didn't use it. Snoga classes are held every Tuesday and Thursday at Mohawk. They cater to all skill levels, and yes, Snoga has already been trademarked. Oh, darn. Well, it looks like a good idea. Stealing it. it just seems like, to me, it just makes both skiing and yoga harder. Yes, probably. <laughs> Allison, you, you're halfway there, right? Yeah, but I think I have the easy half. I do yoga, but skiing, Not I don't think. You. No, I don't think I could do that. I'd be. I think they naturally work together. The stretching and rates. You're a snowboarder, by the way. Uh, snowboarders, this works for you guys as well. Telemark skiers, anybody who's on the snow. How do you do your How do you do your tree pose with both of your feet strapped into it? Yeah, a, how do you do that? Snowboard, it's, Jimmy. It's more challenging. All right. Makes for good TV, though, right? Oh, gosh.